Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you how to make this exact animation in Blender. As always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by switching from Blender Render to Cycles Render, and if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, just keep using the CPU. Then click X to delete the default cube, then add a UV sphere. Right now the sphere is uh, low poly, so let's go into the modifiers and add a subdivision surface modifier to increase the amount of polygons. So let's set it to 3. And then go into the particles and add a new particle system. And let's change from emitter to here. And then change to the advanced type so that we have more settings. And then change the length of the hair to let's say 2.4. I also make sure the particles are emitted from the volume and not the phases, but it doesn't really matter that much, so uh, that's up to you. And then next I change the random value for the length of the hair, so that you get some variation. So let's set it to, uh, for example, 0.35. And under physics we have a value called Brownian, which controls the randomness of the hair movement. So let's set it to uh, 0.2. And under render, we have a value called steps, which is sort of the uh, hair equivalent of subdivisions. So let's set it to uh, 7 for a high quality hair simulation. And let's set the random value to 1, so that we get even more randomness to the length. Now let's go into display and increase the amount of steps in the viewport as well. And then go to uh, children to uh, multiply the amount of hairs in the uh, final render and in the viewport. So let's set it to interpolated and then change the render value to 250. And uh, let's add some curls to the uh, hair as well. So uh, scroll down to kink and change from nothing to curl. And then change the frequency to five. And uh, curl the hair like this it usually looks better when it's clumped together. So let's increase the clump value to one. Like this. I also like to decrease the root thickness of the hair, so let's scroll down to Cycles Hair Settings and set the thickness to 0.2 for the roots. Okay, so let's make a first save, go to File and Save As, and create a file wherever you want on the computer. It doesn't really matter where you save it, just save it. And then select the lamp, right click to select, then change it into a sun, change the size to 1, then click Use Notes, and change the strength to 7. And then click G to grab, and R to rotate. Okay, so now we have the sun lamp lighting. So let's uh, add a background color as well. So uh, select the uh, globe icon. And uh, then let's go into rendered view. And then let's make it a bit darker. Something like this. I think that looks better. And then select the object with the hair particles. And I click new and uh, let's change the color and uh, what color you choose doesn't really matter because it doesn't affect later steps in the tutorial so just choose whatever color you want and then we can go to the next step okay and uh, then let's go into the render settings so click the camera icon then increase the resolution quality to 100 percent and then uh, set the sampling to maybe 200. If you have a slow computer, just leave it at 128. And before we make a test render, we need to set up the camera. So I click Shift Set to go back to Solid View. And I click Numpad 0 to look through the camera. And I click Shift F to use the fly cam. And you move around in the fly cam with W, A, S, and D, just like in a video game on your computer. And you can turn gravity on and off by clicking Tab in the fly cam. Okay, so I think it looks good, so let's uh, click Render to make a test render. This uh, might take some time, I actually speeded up this part of the video. And after a few minutes of rendering, we have the results. So uh, now we need to go to the animation part. So I'll go back to the 3D view. And then let's create a new file before we continue. Just uh, give it a new name. And I click Enter. And uh, now let's select the sphere. And then go into the hair settings, and we need to turn on hair dynamics to animate the hair. So enable hair dynamics, and then open it. And first we need to change the stiffness to 5, because the hair is so long. 
and then we should also increase the uh, hair simulation quality so let's change the amount of steps from 5 to uh, for example uh, 40 and uh, then we need to animate the uh, sphere so click N to open up the transform settings and I click I to key from the location and I to key from the rotation and then move forward in time on the timeline and I click G to grab the object then left click to confirm the location and I click I and I to keyframe and then let's move a bit forward in time and keyframe once again so that it stands still for a few frames and then move forward in time again and click G to uh, grab once again left click to confirm and then click I and I to keyframe once again and then let's move forward in time and now we're going to rotate the sphere so I uh, change the set value to uh, let's say 240 and then click I to keyframe the new rotation and the new location even though the location is the same and then we need to go down to cache and um, bake the animation so click bake to uh, calculate the whole simulation so after maybe 20 minutes you have the uh, baked animation so when you move on the timeline you can see that we have some movement for the hair okay so uh, now we need to go to the uh, render settings and set up the render click on the camera icon and go down to outputs and uh, click on the uh, folder icon and then we need to create a new folder for our animation so uh, let's go to the TMP folder or wherever you want on the computer and then create a new folder for the animation and then click enter and then select the folder and then give the animation a name and then click enter now if you have a GPU you should also go down to performance and change the tile size so uh, set it to 500 if you have a GPU if you only have a CPU just leave them at 64 okay and then go to file and click save as let's create a new file and I click save as blender file and then to render the animation just click animation and uh, that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and i'll make a new tutorial very soon so thank you guys for watching and subscribe